So we talked about poly paint from thickness. Let's talk about poly paint from draft. We're going to go back to our original head here. And let's say we wanted to make a mold of this and we wanted to do a two-part mold and we wanted to make sure that when we pulled this out of the mold, it would release okay. Now, one way you can do this is you can go down here and again, you can do poly paint from draft and you're going to set direction and you're going to snap to the side and say, okay, set it from this direction and then say from draft and that'll go ahead and give you a poly paint from draft. And you're going to see we're going to run into some trouble spots here, especially behind the ear. This part's not going to need to come out because if you're going to pull this straight out of a mold, uh, it's a little bit of an undercut here. So you're going to go through, let's turn on X symmetry, hold down shift to smooth and we'll go into our clay brush and make sure you turn off RGB and you can kind of pull this out and then you can keep hitting, oops, from draft. And you don't have to, you know, snap your camera view anymore. You've already set the angle. So you just got to keep hitting from draft and it'll keep updating. So you keep sculpting this out and keep hitting from draft. Now, this is accurate. Draft from Polypaint's a little more accurate, but if you want something a little bit more responsive, you can go take the transform menu and just pop it over here. And by the way, if you want to follow along with your own tool, uh, just go over here to project. You can just grab that demo anime head project out there. It's basically the same thing. And you can just do it again from the side and clean up the same areas pretty much. Uh, if we go over here to transform, you're going to see there's a set draft angle, draft analysis button over here. So if we go up here to our poly paint and our sub tool and we turn that off, um, this completely overrides your poly paint, by the way. And this is probably a little bit of a maybe a less destructive way to work. If we, again, if we go, if we turn this off and we go back before we kill our poly paint, you can project by history. You can do the history recall brush and get your poly paint back or Z project uh, your poly paint back. But if you want to kind of keep your poly paint around, you can also just go over here to transform, turn on set draft angle. That'll override your poly paint temporarily. And then you get a real time feedback. So as you're working on this and you know, you're grabbing your clay brush and you're kind of sculpting out and smoothing, you're going to see in real time this update. Now it's not quite as accurate as your poly paint, but like I said, you don't have to keep hitting that button. They'll just give you real time feedback. So basically what you're doing is you're smoothing and you're building up and you're trying to make it so that you're all green. So this thing will be released from the mold without any problems. Now you have to, might have to make some concessions. You might have to go through and kind of decide you're like, okay, this'll, this'll release, but I'm gonna have to go through and clean it up just a little bit. And again, if you want a more accurate representation, go back here and we'll go ahead and turn this draft analysis off. And same thing with this set draft angle. Just snap to the side, set draft angle. If you go to the front, oops, you can set your direction from this side and you can do a mold from this side. And you'll see these are the problem areas you have. This side seems a little better. So again, set direction. We're looking good. Go ahead and turn that off. And we can do one final analysis where we go down here to poly paint from draft. We've already set the angle from this side. And now you can see, oh, there's a little area that wasn't quite picked up by the uh, transform. So you can kind of just go through and uh, fix that little area. And this is also relevant for like hard surface objects. So if we go through here and let's just grab a cube 3D, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D. Uh, go into your Z modeler brush, BZM. I'm gonna hold down Alt. And we're just gonna push these back or paint these and then we're gonna say Q mesh poly group all. Uh, hover over hover over these face, uh, face, Q mesh poly group all, just hold down the space bar and push these back. If we go to the front here, or we go, uh, just turn this on this real time one and we say set direction you're going to see ah, we're kind of having a problem because these things are going straight back. So how can you can alleviate this a little bit? Let's go ahead and turn this off. Is we can do an inset polygroup all region, pull this in a little bit and then Q mesh polygroup all and hold down shift and just push these back along the surface normal. And now when I turn this on and then set the direction, you're going to see these are all green. These will pop out just fine because they don't go straight back. However, if I go over here, Let's go ahead and turn this off. So actually, it's a uh, hover over this edge. We'll say edge mask edge loop partial and hit W. Invert that. And we'll turn gizmo back on. And we move this back over. And then we set our draft analysis again. You're going to see, oh, we're having a problem here. This might not pop out very well. It'd be much better if those things were moved in. As I move those in, it alleviates. It immediately turns to green.